Kia ora. Thank you for watching these recordings of the Grow Waitaha Digi Awards 2023. We're going to begin with this karakia, the core karakia. Unia te po te po fari marama, te mukia te o te o fatu tangata. Tatai kironga, tatai kiraro, tatai ahuro. Humie huie tai kia. This karakia is about taking confusion away and looking at how we can collaborate and weave together. Tina Koto Katoa. Kotihiru Ukahu Kura Tokumonga. Ko Otakaro Toku Awa. No Otatahi Aho Inoko Ane. Ko Amanda Campbell Toku Ingoa. No Reda Tina Koto Katoa. So kia ora everybody. My name is Amanda Campbell and it is my pleasure to be bringing you these webinars on Digi Awards 2023. Unfortunately for this recording, my colleague Nikki was unavailable, but she will be joining us for the next few webinars that are coming up. These are the webinars that will be happening. Uh, they're all to support you with your Digi Awards entries for 2023. We are recording all of the webinars, so if you are unable to attend, you can come back to this presentation and eventually once all the webinars have run, you will be able to access their recordings here. So new to Digi Awards. These are the goals for today's webinar, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to do an explanation of Digi Awards 2023, going to show some examples or how to access some examples of previous entries. I'm going to explore some planning tips, talks about some tips and tricks. So this is the Digi Award theme for 2023. Uh, the theme comes from the young people's vision from the Timataho new curriculum. Uh, it means creativity and imagination transports us to new worlds. You can also enter as a self-chosen theme as well. Uh, the theme that was selected from this Fakatoki comes from the idea that Akonga received joy from crafting their own stories using digital technologies to do this so that they can inspire and educate and persuade uh, and curate possibilities that can impact their kura and their communities. It's about sharing stories from different worlds through creativity, imagination and interaction. So on the Grow Waitaha website, under Digi Awards, uh, you can find an explainer guide that can possibly answer some questions that you may have. Also this year, we are offering some extra in-school support that you can get from me. I can either come into your school and meet with you or your tamariki. Uh, we can meet online, what, whatever suits you. There is a link to a, a document that I emailed to you that has the, a Google form that you can fill out requesting support. So on the explainer, uh, you'll see a variety of, of things that will help you with your entries. So possibly most importantly is that entries open on the 1st of July, 2023. And anything that you have already created or planning on creating in term two and three, that's digital, we want to see it. So it can be whatever you and your tamariki have created. So it can be videos, video stories, websites, commercials, Minecraft designs, can be coding, can be scratch, stop motion, green screening, anything at all that is digital, that tells a story, we are very keen for you to enter. 
the categories that you can enter under, uh, you will do all your entries online. There are two types of entries, the general entries or entries that are sharing Maturanga Māori, uh, entries that might talk about your um, school narrative, about voyaging, it can be waiata, uh, whatever you, you, you like. You can choose um, which year group that you're entering under, year zero to two, year three and four, year five, six, year seven, eight. When you go to enter online, there will be a drop down box for you to, kill, um, to select the correct age group that you're entering under. You can also enter as an individual, a group or a class. This slide explains key dates so that we've already said on, I already said to you, the entries open on the 1st of July. Entries close on the 11th of October. As this year is our 10th anniversary for Digi Awards, there's going to be a very special event held on the 23rd of November where entries are celebrated and we can get together and enjoy the fabulous work that Tamariki and yourselves have uh, submitted to the Digi Awards 2023 competition. Uh, our entries are scored um, out of 100 and you will be asked to write a brief. Uh, so why did you make your entry? How did you make your entry? And what did you make for your entry? This is the judging criteria here. Uh, I encourage you to take some time to look at this. It will help you write your entry. Uh, find your point of difference. Uh, make your entry stand out. Uh, just a wee um, piece of advice. When you uh, go to enter your, your file, um, can you share your entry publicly if it's from a Google Drive link? Uh, if it's an mp3 or mp4 powerpoints if you've created a video you can put it onto youtube uh, we suggest that you share your final product to a personal email first just to check that it works on this slide there is links to there are links to entries from 2022 a variety of different types of entries from websites to stop motion, scratch, some Lego, and from a variety of age groups. These entries are all available on the Grow Waitaha website. So we encourage you to take some time and look at these with your tamariki and gather some, some fabulous ideas. This is the continuum of choice. This is a useful tool to look at uh, when you think about where you are and where your students think they are as a class. Who's leading? Who's making decisions? Uh, whose choice is it? We encourage you to make this a student-driven project uh, that has teacher support. Deliberate acts of teaching of the digital skills of storyboarding and taking photos, green screening, etc. we strongly encourage. Some tips and tricks to share with you. We cannot overstate the importance of plan, plan, plan. Student agency versus teacher-led is highly encouraged. Do spend some time exploring the theme and what it means to your class. You may be able to repurpose things that you've already created uh, in term one or that you're creating in term two so that you can include things that you are already doing within your class. Keep it simple-ish. Project manage it so that everyone in the group has a job. They know what they're doing. They know what their job is. They have a timeline. They know what's expected and when it is expected. And we encourage you to do this project managing, whether 
you're doing this with a class, a group, or an individual. Spend some time teaching the skills, how to take photos, how to do good videos, how to speak clearly and articulately, angles of taking photos, the lighting, uh, sound, those things that need to be taken into consideration when you're creating digital projects. Teach your tamariki how to write a script. Talk about the best tools for the job. What do you need to teach for the tamariki to be able to create this project? You don't need fancy or expensive software. There is plenty of tools available and our next few webinars will be focusing on those, those tools. Don't leave it till the last minute and you will need lots of time to edit and redo. And from experience, edit and redo and edit and redo. This is a planning template uh, that I'm not going to talk too much about today because this will come up in future webinars that my colleague Nikki will talk to you about. Just a wee quote from Pixar. No amount of technology can ever turn a bad story into a good one. So please remember to plan, plan, plan and guide your children, uh, work alongside them and enjoy, have a great, amazing, wonderful time learning and exploring the amazing digital tools we have available. And we really, really look forward to seeing what you can create. We're going to conclude this recording today with the karakia. Unia te po te po fere marama te mukia te au te au fatu tangata tatai kiroa tatai kiraro tatai ahuro humie huie taikie. Go forth, have a great time. We look forward to seeing you in future webinars. Don't forget, if you would like support, to go back to the email I sent. Click on the link and I'm um, available and willing and excited to be able to help you with your 2023 Digi Awards. Kakite no.